Hey guys, it's me, Leo, currently. Okay, let's get started with the highlights. Okay, we, Emma re releases before they show the highlights that Jillian McKeith, a holistic lifestyle diet and nutrition expert, detox expert, is coming into the house as a house guest for the weekend. Well, up until Friday or up until the weekend. Hopefully it's up until the weekend. The morning after the makeout session, Daniela lets Stephanie know that Karma has bit her on the ass in a nice way, and that the feeling Steph is having with Jeremy is probably what Sam Reese has with Stephanie outside the house in a nice way. Jeremy tells Daniela his feelings, but Daniela tells Jeremy that he and Stephanie need to talk about how to move forward. Darren didn't like Tiffany's question during the Truth or Dare game. And I I like Daniela's bangs. I love the bangs. I wonder if they get, gave her scissors or hair stylist or something because I just love her bangs. Jeremy tries to clear the air with Stephanie, but Stephanie's not having it at this point. Stephanie realizes she messed up her life for nothing. Tiffany knew that Jeremy and Scotty T would come forward to her. Um, Yeah. And she was waiting for Megan and Stephanie to be out of the house to get the situation rolling. But I think they were just doing it because they just needed some female contact. Sky T is still the better kiss to her and she wants to take advantage of him. Jeremy tries to clear the air again. Stephanie doesn't want him to kiss another woman in the house. Dot, dot, dot. Danielle and Gemma talk Botox to Darren. And according to Jer Gemma, George Bo George Clooney gets apparently gets Botox done, and yeah, Gemma calls Darren the George Clooney of the UK. Jeremy and Stephanie go back to making out with one another. Big Brother, the task of the day is Big Brother asks John to the diary room. The rest of the house is known let into John's secret task to fish for compliments from the housemates. The real task is the housemates are to insult John to pass the task. And of course the house was shady as fuck. Because housemates go straight on to insulting John. It was so shade. It was like shade, 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 shade. The shade of it all. John goes back into the diary room because he couldn't do his secret task. Big Brother lets John into the real task and housemates went up hot coffee machine for the next day, which is the eviction day for Christopher, which they're going to show on tonight's highlights. But I don't think, yeah, they don't have the coffee. They don't have the coffee machine for uh, when Jillian comes in because Jillian, one of Jillian's rules is to drink clean, so no alcohol, no caffeine, except for tea. Tiffany tells John her love of guns, and she really wants a taser. John. Does tell Tiffany that in the UK, weapons are illegal like that. Like, guns are illegal, tasers are illegal. Yep. By 10 p.m., Big Brother gathers the housemates be and they give Darren a prize of selection of his favorite songs to be played around the house. And then, time for the eviction. Christopher is evicted. And I wanted Christopher to be more Scouse and more, like, Tosh. Like, I wanted him to release, like, the Tosh, like, YOU DON'T HAVE TO SCREAM ALL THE TIME kind of shit. But no, Christopher is more of a peacemaker, and he's been glad, he's glad to be out of the house. I think he, he can tell it was his time to be evicted. Chris tells Emma that Daniela is going through an emotional roller coaster just being in the house itself. And... He hopes that either Darren or Daniela would win, but more Darren to win. Big Brother shows Jill Jillian in the diary room. Big Brother asks, asks her to choose four housemates for a detox. 
been, like, the four most toxic housemates to be put in a detox clinic for her. Jillian chooses Steph, Annie, Scotty T, John, and Tiffany as the four most toxic housemates. Stephanie because of her relationship. Scotty T because Turbo Dick has to go to bed. John because he has been the catalyst of all the conflict. And Tiffany because apparently she, Jillian called Tiffany a sexual predator and Tiffany is so proud of being called a sexual predator. She wanted to choose Gemma, but apparently Gemma is sick. So she can't participate in the detox clinic. It'd be funny, though, if Gemma was in the detox clinic, though. Because, yeah, she was like, she would not have any of it. She's like, I'm not playing games. I'm through. But the quote of the night is Jillian telling Scotty T that Turbo Dick is going to bed. And then um, after the eviction, after the live feed, when they cut into the house... Tiffany was like, I want my ciggies before before she goes in the detox clinic. She wants her ciggies really, really bad. Let's get into the bit, bit on the side. They had an F it button because they were like, ugh. If it's too much, they just press the button and then they hear Gemma say, fuck it. Bit on the side panel wanted Christopher out because of the public viewed him as boring. I want to know what's going on in the detox clinic. Jillian did come into the house very harsh. The outfit was nice, but what she said was very harsh. And I want to know how Gemma and Jillian will get along. Because Gemma's like through with the games. She's through with the tasks. She doesn't want to clean. Because there were rules like no. You have to. You can't question what she says. You have to accept her authority. You have to eat clean, drink clean. And no swearing. And drinking clean means, like, no alcohol, no coffee. Tea's probably acceptable. And then, like, no smoking. Like, yeah, you can't question her authority. You can't swear. Yeah, those were her rules. And then, if Jeremy left that night, the house dynamics could have changed. That's what they said in the boss panel. I think so, too. I just can't wait until Gemma doesn't follow the rules. Rylan got to ask all the questions that he usually wants to ask during the Tooth Extractor segment to Chris. And every single answer was almost Gemma. Like, Gemma should be extracted from the house. Gemma is a two-faced bitch. You know, every, every negative question, like, all the negative answers to every negative question Rylan asked was Gemma. And I love that. And then, so, that's, it for now. Um, I can't wait until Jillian grows into these housemates. Because apparently Stephanie now is planning to break up with her boyfriend, which is what she should have done before entering the fucking house in the first place. And then going back to him and shit like that. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll see ya.